to even President Obama at times, not to mention the White House's point man on race, Al Sharpton. We have had enough. The issue is how a young man with no deadly threat, no life extenuating circumstances was shot multiple times. When you look at this whole question of racial profiling, um, as I said, as I said in, I guess, the statement that we have released, um, it can be misguided, it can be, I think, ineffective. With Dante, very early on, my son, we said, look, if a police officer stops you, do everything he tells you to do, don't move suddenly, don't reach for your cell phone, because we knew, sadly, there was a greater chance it might be misinterpreted if it was a young man of color. The situation in Ferguson speaks to broader challenges that we still face as a nation. The fact is, in too many parts of this country, a deep distrust exists between law enforcement and communities of color. We've had to literally train them as families have all over this city for decades in how to take special care in any encounter he has with the police officers. When will law enforcement condemn police that shoot and kill Many young men of color feel targeted by law enforcement. Guilty of walking while black or driving while black. Stains the heart of black children who feel as if no matter what he does, he'll always be under suspicion. You thought you'd sweep it under the rug. You thought there'd be no limelight. I'm sorry, I come out the hood. The only way you make roaches run is you gotta cut the light off. The rhetoric over racist cops and a rigged system grew.